we see Mia go through it for like go through it the entire season one. Her mom's out the picture. Mia's dad um, is getting married and having a kid. Um, Victor cheated on her and left her. And then season two even seems like Andrew moved on from Mia. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, she's on the up. Uh, Come on, everything's uh, coming up, Mia. Like, does Mia find happiness in season two? I, at this point, I can see her just like running away and like leaving everything behind. Like, ah, uh, um, funny you say that. Um, why? I think she, um, she, she's beginning to 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 find some stability some home some some um I don't know her own version I think of of happiness or the beginnings of of that I think um I think she's working with allowing herself to feel like happy and um yeah there's a lot of trial and error this season I think it seems does Andrew and Victor are they friends in season two because like from the trailer I didn't see like any interaction between the two Trying to pick it up, trying to dissect it. <laughs> I, uh, to call them uh, friends is to imply that they c- could compare it all to the loving relationship I think he has with Felix. Um, I think Andrew and Victor come from a place of uh, mutual respect and they have these interactions with one another where they sort of juxtapose their understandings of who the other are throughout this, especially when basketball comes into play. And by the by the end of season one um once andrew understood who victor was on a more uh personal level i think that allowed more space to get to know one another for to set the stage for season two so you'll see friends though that's a big term if mia and andrew got together what would be their couple name <laughs> I like Mandrew, but everybody's like Andrea. I think Mandrew's fun. Mandrew? <laughs> well, you could you could really draw. You could say Mandria, man, man, Mandruia. I, I like to use every part of the word, so I'll stick with Mandrew. And what storyline are you guys most excited to see in season two? Like, what, what fans should be excited to see in season two? Because there's so many different storylines going on in season two. Well, we... um. We have some new additions to the cast, which will kind of spice things up a little bit. There's that word <laughs> um, again. <laughs> I've been using the word spicy quite a bit today, um, but it I think it's an accurate, it's an, it accurately um, kind of uh, summarizes the, the season, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think some of these new storylines will be interesting for That's people. perfect. I, I mean, in line with that, we got shirtless Benji. We got shirtless Victor. Like, what are we talking about? This, this season serves what I think uh, the Twitter gifts will 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 appreciate in space. We got it all. Love Victor. If you guys could switch characters with a different person on the show, which character or which character would you switch with, or which who or which person would you switch with? Uh, Felix. Felix. Mm-hmm. He's oh no! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Yeah. Okay. Well, if she said Felix. I'll say Pilar because that's. I feel like she has a can-do attitude that I would like to emulate, but can't. That'd be nice. Actually, I interviewed um, BB and um, Anthony. Anthony today, and they both picked you, Mason. They picked your character. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> BB, yeah, right. BB says she wanted to be over six foot, so that's why she picked her character. <laughs> BB is over six foot. BB's six six. What is she talking? Could you imagine six six BB? Like, where's the buzz? Where is the buzz? You said we used to be the same. Oh, we had 